Dunk here. Today, I wanted to go over how you would remove liquidity from the Drive Gary liquidity pool. Maybe you have an opportunity and you wanna go do something else with that liquidity. I'm gonna show you how I do that. Again, there's never any financial advice and I'm just showing you how I do what I do. I'm gonna go over here and go to the Radium pool right here. So I'm gonna start from the beginning. I click on radium.io. Make sure that it is the same browser that you have Phantom installed on. This is Phantom. It is the wallet that I am using. I use it for both mobile and desktop. So I'm gonna show you this one on desktop when we're on Radium. Again, you're gonna to need to have the wallet installed. Click on launch app. And I already have my wallet linked, but you're gonna be able to link it right here in the top corner. Click on concentrated here on the left-hand side. It's showing this right here, but if it is not, you could always search for it. So I'm going to go right here and go to manage. And then I am going to say remove liquidity. And I'm going to say max in this case. You don't have to do max. You could just do part of it if you'd like to, but I'm going to do max. And what will happen when you do max and the liquidity pool is completely drained is it will burn the NFT that it put into your wallet. So there's an NFT in the wallet right now. So I could just pop this up right now and I could show you that there is an NFT in the wallet. So I click here. So this one right here is actually a Radium NFT. Even though it went into the spam, this is a Radium NFT. So this is what symbolizes the money that you have in the liquidity pool. If anything happened to this NFT, you would not be able to claim it. So just keep that in mind. When I do that, I'm gonna say maximum. And I'm gonna hit withdrawal liquidity. Now I'm getting this pop-up right here. It says that it is going to deposit this amount of soul, this amount of drive, this amount of Gary, and it is going to burn this NFT right here, the one that symbolized the amount of money that I had in there. And I'm gonna click confirm, a little pop-up, and now it is gone. So I go back over to my wallet, can bring up the wallet, and look at that, I have my Gary right here, the little bit of soul that it put back in as well as the drive right here. And I have my liquidity back right out of the liquidity pool, but I am no longer gaining any of the benefits of supporting liquidity pools. That is how you pull your liquidity back out of the drive and Gary liquidity pool on desktop. And just remember, I'm Dunk, and you can come and hang out with me in my Discord server at dunkmedia.club. And as always, just drop any questions in the comments, and I'll see you in the next one.